Oh, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ, and this is the one and a half rep ripper. The one and a half rep technique maximizes strength and muscle gain by adding an extra half repetition to every single exercise in this routine. By spending twice as much time in the most difficult portion of the exercise, we're going to blast through sticking points and make lighter loads go a longer way. There are four unique triceps I'm going to break down for you right now. The workout description is in the video description. Here are the movements. Let's get to it. All right, tricep one. We got pull-ups and then single leg leg curls using a stability ball or a slider. Now the pull-ups, they're going to feel twice as hard as normal because of the fact we're using the one and a half rep technique. So if you can't do it, use an assisted option or go with an inverted row. I recommend a hammer grip. It's the most kind of user-friendly option, but any grip can work. So we're gonna get right up in there. I like to block the feet together, squeeze the legs together, crunch the ass, pull the rib shoulders down, and tuck the knees and get them slightly in front of the body. You get better spinal positioning there. And then from there, we go all the way up, come halfway down, back up. That's one rep. You're gonna do six to eight repetitions like that or max reps. You do six to eight, and then if you had the ability to lower the weight vest, once you can easily do eight on multiple sets, you add a weight vest to increase the challenge and stay in that six to eight rep range. Otherwise, just do max repetitions. Then we go right into the stability ball leg curl, which is gonna light up those hamstrings. This is my favorite hamstring movement because it works both functions of the hamstring, knee flexion and hip extension. Doing it one leg at a time makes it a great way to get symmetry into the body and really load for strength and muscle gain, and you're gonna really feel a crazy hamstring contraction because of the one and a half rep technique. So we get all the way up, crunch the ass, maintain the hip extension the whole way. Curl it all the way in, go halfway out, keep tension on that ham, bring it all the way back. That's one rep. If you keep repeating that technique, get twice as much time in the most difficult portion of the movement to squeeze out some serious gains and make what looks like a simple body weight move feel deadly. Try set number two, you need a dip bar and then you need a landmine set of putting a barbell into the corner of a wall or a landmine post. We use the other end to hold for our Bulgarian hip hinge, a nice lower boxer step to elevate the trail leg. It's needed for the extra stability and support to maximize the movement. And I do recommend adding the pure motion war hammer onto it to get more space and separation from the bar, more freedom of movement and a better gripping option. You can get 10% off of this and all my gear using the coupon code, the daily BJ, go to gardenofgains.com for all my gear. So here we go. Dips first, if it's too challenging, because it is super tough with this technique, go with push-ups or an assisted dip, dip technique. We're gonna get right on there. I like adding fat grips. I find it takes a little stress off the elbows, makes it just easier to grab and maintain for longer duration sets. We're right here. If you uh, can go all the way down, you can extend the legs, but I'm gonna just show the bent leg option, the same position as the pull-up. I'm gonna go all the way down where the upper arms form a nine degree angle and they're parallel to the floor, up halfway using the chest to lift, back down, all the way up, that's one. So all the way down, up halfway, back down, one. You're doing six to eight reps or max reps if you can't load it up and keep it challenging in that six to eight rep range. Then we're gonna go into our landmine hinge. You can modify with a dumbbell, but this is my favorite way to do hip hinges. It's really a unique training angle. I find the right blend of stability to make it a continuous set so you can really feel the glutes and hamstrings work. You're also gonna work the lower back as a stabilizer. Take your trail hand, put it on the small of the lower back. That's there to help mobilize the anterior chest and shoulder but also make sure you maintain a slight arc in the back the whole time so you don't end up flexing around in it and stressing that area. Trail toe is on here, like a kickstand on a bike. We're gonna hold here, active rear delt. If you're loose in the rear delt, you get bad shoulder and spinal positions. Keep it active the whole way. Load the middle of that front foot. The front, the work leg knee is soft. And all from there, there's just really just push and close a car door with your butt. Hinge all the way. And then I come up halfway right about knee level, back down, all the way up. So, all the way down, up halfway, back down, that's one. Hinge all the way down, up halfway, back down, that's one. All right, you're gonna do that for eight to 12 repetitions or a 60 to 90 second work period on each side using that same rep parameter or work parameter as in the single leg leg curls in the previous tri set. It's a great pairing. You're gonna work the glutes and hams, and again, I love flowing between upper and lower body movements to keep intensity high, rest period short, get a lot done in a short period of time. Try set three, you need a pair of dumbbells and a sandbag. If you don't have a sandbag, you can also use the dumbbells for the 
one and a half rep Bulgarian split squats, but I love the sandbag options we'll talk about in a second. But the first move, and you're gonna go in a split stance, mobilize hip flexors, get more core activation, but also keep your legs really tight to the body to open up space so we can hold dumbbells, especially when they get heavy, without bumping the legs and keeping that supinated open hand position to maximize biceps activation. You can either switch the stance from set to set, or either it's eight to 12 reps or work periods of 60 to 90 seconds on this. You would then switch at the halfway mark, half the number of reps, you could switch stance or halfway into each work period or from set to set, choice is yours. So I'm locked in, palms open, chest up, ribs and shoulders down, abs crunched. Come all the way up, lower halfway down, back up, that's one. All the way down, halfway down, up, and keep going in that pattern. Again, you're gonna go eight to 12 repetitions or 60 to 90 seconds of work. I love time-based stuff, but in that eight to 12, once you can do 12 for multiple sets, you're gonna load it up with heavier dumbbells to keep the gains coming. Now, we're gonna do each side here, Bulgarian split squats. And again, you can hold dumbbells either here or here, but I'm gonna recommend the bear hug with the bag which is gonna really help you stay more upright, takes pressure off the back and knees, stresses the quads more, and really gets your uh, scapular retractors, those thoracic extensors locked in for core trunk development. So many benefits. You're gonna go for eight to 12 reps or 60, 90 seconds on each side. Again, resting only as needed between moves. So I hold it like this, squeeze, lock it in. I like a slight forward knee position, crunch the abs. You start at the top. I'm gonna to lower all the way down, up halfway, back down, that's one rep. All the way down, up halfway, back down. And again, I'm trying to crack it up between my shoulder blades the whole way. And again, lots of time under tension in that bottom half of the squat. And when you go back to regular repetitions, you're gonna be so much stronger. And again, time under tension is really the key to maximizing muscle gain if the goal is building muscle. So, which many of you it is, but also you get great kind of shred meets gains protocols on this. I think you'll love it. Up next, fourth and final tricep. We start with split stance, overhead presses. You'll either switch the stance halfway into each set or from set to set, the choice is yours. The split stance is gonna give you a little more stability demands. It's also gonna make it easier to maintain that neutral spine position, meaning we're not gonna be as likely to overextend the low back. So I like that option, especially if you have trouble getting your arms overhead or maintaining good core position. So I'm locked in, crunch the abs, dig that back toe on the floor, keep that leg semi-bent, quarter bend the whole way. I go all the way up, palms facing is that most joint friendly, training friendly grip, all the way down, up halfway just above the head, and back down. That's the hardest portion of the rep. Again, one and a half rep technique, spending twice as much time in the part where people wanna really blow through it, but you're gonna own the movement and make light loads go a long way. You're gonna do eight to 12 repetitions. Once you can do 12 easily, you would then bump the weight up or just do work periods of 60, 90 seconds and stay in motion, only rest pausing as needed. And we've got one and a half rep single leg calf raises. You can do this with body weight for max reps, or you can hold a dumbbell on one side and find a weight that challenges you in the eight to 12 rep range. We come off the edge of a step or bench or even weight plate to extend the range of motion, squeeze the glute, crunch the abs, only motion is through the ankle. And then from there, I come all the way up, squeeze, halfway down, back up, and then get all the way down. That's one. All the way up, squeeze, back down halfway, back up, all the way down. I keep repeating that. Resting only as needed between moves to the other side. It's a really simple workout. You can pretty much do this entire thing with dumbbells besides needing a pull-up or dip bar, but you can also modify the pull-ups and the dips with inverted rows, dumbbell rows, or push-ups for the dips. So there's plenty of ways to make it work. If you don't wanna do the full workout, just pick any one of these moves and plug it into your normal routine, and you'll find it's a great way to shock the system and get some new gains, bulletproof the joints, and again, make lightweight feel heavy. That's what it's all about. If you wanna get my shorts, go to sleevesoldseparately.com. Got them in multiple colors. It's the ultimate workout short. I think you really did. You can also use it at the beach. You can get a free three-day trial to my monthly fat loss programs at thedailybj.com. And if you wanna build muscle, join my online coaching group at coaching, coaching group at gorillacorngains.com. I love you guys. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Get it done.